We're working on two major approaches. One approach is to try and find chaperones for molecules such as amyloid beta along the iPad pathways. And where we have at the moment two candidates, and these candidates have come from a combination of proteomic studies, preclinical studies, uh, collaborative studies with the Mayo Clinic, John Fryer in, in the United States. And um, we're working on, right now, uh, we are working on using apolipoprotein J, which is also called clustering, to try and chaperone amyloid beta along the iPad pathways. And this is an enormous international effort between Mayo Clinic, Romania, which is where the preclinical study is actually performed, uh, Australia, who, uh, with our collaborators there, who are producing the physiological clustering that can then hopefully be translated into humans. The other major approach is actually trying to act on the smooth muscle cells. So once we determine that the smooth muscle cells are the motive force for iPad, that was actually good news for us because the smooth muscle cells are coated with uh, receptors for both cholinergic and adrenergic innovation. So we are right now characterizing those receptors with age and how we can act upon them to try and improve the function of the smooth muscle cell and therefore iPad. Uh, we're also working on trying to improve the um, mitochondrial apparatus of the uh, smooth muscle cell. And this is work performed with Temple University in Philadelphia in the United States. The smooth muscle cells innovation sounds easy, but it's actually a huge effort that is uh, together with, um, uh, again, several groups in the United States, especially uh, Scott Counts. Um, we are um, convinced that it's not just the cholinergic innovation or the adrenergic innovation that we need to improve. We need to improve both because they both centers of these uh, uh, supplies, adrenergic and cholinergic, become compromised and they, uh, there is another protein called tau that, that fills them very early in the disease process. So they become dysfunctional and therefore the smooth muscle loses its innovation and therefore it's not going to pump efficiently.